Zelensky and Bush to give joint pro-war presentation. War criminal George W. Bush and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky will be appearing at an event next week at the George W. Bush Presidential Center in partnership with the U.S. government-funded narrative management operations Freedom House and National Endowment for Democracy. The goal of the presentation will reportedly be to address the completely fictional and imaginary concern that congressional Republicans won't continue supporting U.S. proxy war efforts in Ukraine. CNN reports, quote, Former U.S. President George W. Bush will hold a public conversation with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky next week with the aim of underscoring the importance of the U.S. continuing to support Ukraine's war efforts against Russia. The event, which will take place in Dallas and be open to the public, comes amid questions about the willingness of the former president's Republican Party to maintain support for Ukraine. Ukraine is the front line in the struggle for freedom and democracy. It's literally under attack as we speak, and it is vitally important that the United States provide the assistance, military and otherwise, to help Ukraine defend itself. David Kramer, the Managing Director for Global Policy at the George W. Bush Institute, told CNN. President Bush believes in standing with Ukraine. The Struggle for Freedom event will take place on Wednesday in partnership with the Freedom House and the National Endowment for Democracy at the George W. Bush Presidential Center. End quote. Now, to be clear, there is absolutely no reality-based reason to believe Republicans will meaningfully shy away from full-scale support for arming and assisting the Ukrainian military. The proxy war has only an impotent minority of opposition in the party, and every bill to fund it has passed with overwhelming bipartisan support. Some MAGA Republicans have claimed that funding the war would stop if the GOP won the midterm elections, but they were lying. There was never the slightest chance of that happening. Bush, you may remember, drew headlines and laughter earlier this year with his Freudian confession, in which he accused Vladimir Putin of launching a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. The fact that the president, who launched a full-scale ground invasion which destabilized the entire region and led to the deaths of over a million people, is now narrative managing for the U.S. Empire's current aggressively propagandized war, says everything about the nature of this conflict. Also appearing with Bush will be the leader who's slated to become the face of the U.S. Empire's next proxy war, Tsai Ing-wen of Taiwan, CNN writes. Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen, will also take part in the event next week. She will deliver a recorded message in which she is expected to underscore that the struggle for freedom is a global challenge. And sure, why not? If you're going to manufacture consent for proxy warfare against multiple powers as your empire flails around, frantically scrambling to prevent the emergence of a multipolar world, you may as well save time and promote them all on the same ticket. Many people who support the U.S. proxy war in Ukraine now recognize that the Iraq war was a horrific disaster. But Ukraine isn't the good war, it's just the current war. Western propaganda means people always oppose the last war, but not the war that's currently being pushed by the propaganda of today. The U.S. provoking and sustaining its Ukraine proxy war is no more ethical than its invading of Iraq. It just looks that way due to propaganda. It is only by the copious amounts of propaganda our civilization is being hammered with that this is not immediately obvious to everyone. In the future, assuming we don't annihilate ourselves first, the propaganda will have cleared from the air enough for people to look back with clarity on 2022 and realize that we were lied to yet again. It's easy to oppose the last war, it's hard to oppose current wars as the propaganda machine is shoving them down our throats. Everyone's anti-war until the war propaganda starts. <laughs>